be on the news, my heathens and assets. Okay, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I haven't been drinking, <laughs> and I am uh, chilling. So now, now we can uh, actually do so this in the sin. Soft Mission. and silky and expensive. Oh gosh, I hope I don't get any grease stains on the furniture. You are so sweet, little one. I call the big bed. Anyone wants to challenge me, we can play a hand of cards. Girl, I am the captain of this ship. I get the big bed. Wait, hold on. I thought that was a downstairs. This is all just one room? Oh, this is ridiculous. Eridanos is a technological marvel, and they use it as a tourist destination to sell sweets and alcohol. kitchen I mean I guess a weapons bench with a note notice of unlawful equipment this notice is attached to object perfect symbolize hotel regulations Where's the bed? Where's the bedrooms? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. I'm sorry. Timeline discrepancy? Timeline discrepancy. Okay. Track down the prophet, Helen. I don't understand why you must. Memory corrupted. Okay. That's a pretty decent sized bathroom, I guess. I do not like how the toilet is directly beside the shower, and there's literally nothing separating them. That's disgusting. Wait a minute, Nyoka, Pravati, Ellie, Max, Sam, where's Felix? Inspector. There's Felix. So this is what a clean room smells like. Felix, that's disgusting. Alright, Pravati and Ellie. Beyond my job description to ask, but at my heart, I'm still a bellhop. Was the sweet to your liking? I don't even know what they. I don't even. I didn't even know they made hotel rooms that large. It was great. It was fun. I didn't feel too strongly about it. <coughs> Should I ask you, babe, my dog? Should I ask you to talk to me? <coughs> Should I do your job? <coughs> Damn. <coughs> <coughs> Uh Huh. The lobby. To the lobby we go. Only in prov Oh, they've all got their helmets off this time. It's cool. Oh, so that's what she looked like. Okay, all right. Now, where am I going is the question. Uh-huh. To the orchids.
Wow, the orchids are far. Jesus, how massive is this hotel? Running around at the speed of sound. I hope the murderer is. Okay, just had to make sure y'all could hear me. No one's supposed to be coming or going. Little Vargas. Chaos titties and big dick Randy. No, Miss Vargas. Sorry, I'll work on getting a hold of someone. Great, you do that. I'll be waiting right here. Hmm. Not gonna lie, I kind of like the way that outfit fits on you, buddy. I swear to the architect, Matthias. If you've lost your rifle's ionization coil again. Oh, wait. You ain't part of my crew. What do you want, woman? Who's Matthias? An idiot. I suspect he's avoiding me, actually, which is the first smart thing he's done all month. Uh, sorry, but do you need something? Between the landing pad, lockdowns, gate closures, and constant questions from angry guests, I've got a lot on my plate. And if that don't beat all, one of my crew is AWOL. If you're serious, I'd appreciate the help. He's been missing a few days, and we're low on staff as it is. It's it Matthias. A few days. Wait, why do we know It's nothing? not exactly uncommon for slug agents to go on the odd bender. They'll pick a place they think I don't know about and hunker down. Usually I don't bother with the discipline and paperwork. Gotta pick your battles. Thing is, they usually resurface within 24 hours, or at least yell for medical help. This guy, not a peep. Okay. The missing crew member's Evan O'Connell. He's okay. one of about two slug agents I can trust with more complex tasks than stand here and look tough. Friendly type. Well behaved, followed orders. Anyone else, I'd think they got drunk and fell asleep in a ditch somewhere, but O'Connell's not really the type. He was last stationed at the wilderness checkpoint. I'd search there first. <coughs> hey Red, am I further than you or did you beat the game yet? I'm just trying to keep track of how like far I have to go. Says I'm about halfway done with the game, so that's why I decided to do this mission to get a little bit more level up. Got enough bullets, that's for sure. Wish I could extend the clip on this damn thing. It's the only thing I don't like. Six shots is horrible. Who the fuck is up here that's a villain? Oh, we got animals. Games like this to many way to cause slash create chaos. Have you ever been a Fallout game? I feel like this is a lot like a Fallout. Fuck. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 I need to. Or maybe like Red Dead. I feel like you've definitely beaten Red Dead. Yes, everyone after three never played them, not a cowboy type. No one's supposed to be coming okay. or going. And when I can't get a hold of anyone in the orchard, I, I thought you might have played Red Dead because if I'm correct, doesn't Red Dead have a, um... And I wish. Matai wouldn't give a damn if... 
uh, zombies mode where like everyone in like everyone in the world is a zombie. Like I remember that. I remember because I played that. I was like, this like I remember playing the zombies mode. and I was like, the zombie mode is fine, but I feel like this would be better if I got the story. Then I started playing Red Dead. Then I think I upgraded my system and I couldn't play it anymore. And I just never picked up Red Dead too. If you're He was nice and all. Yeah, I thought so. This this thing ain't doing shit. Why do I have this? It's similar but not the same same as Fallout, but the maker is one of the ones that made a Fallout game. Okay. Learning more game preferences, honestly. I'm pretty cool with that. Yes and never. I'm sorry, like I don't I don't know if I'm like just tired or not, but I, I know I asked a question and you're responding never to the question. I don't remember what the fuck the question was to make you respond ever. I'm just trying to think. I was like, the zombies mode seems like yours. Cup of tea. They can't keep us out. Man, I'm just a tired bitch. Dead Redemption. Oh, yeah, when I talk about the zombies mode, I never picked up two. Yeah, no, I never did it. What are the guns I'm carrying? What are they considered? It's a long gun and a long gun and a handgun. It's a long guns. Paint in, patient in. Kill 20 enemies that were affected by spreading in rays. What the? Yo, hey, yo, chill out. to, but no out as soon as I got to the main camp. Yeah, fair enough. Most games ain't for everybody. Tried to mess with my girls. Shouldn't have done that. Press the Goku button. Shouldn't have done that. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Oh, the gun! Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Sure, I forgot how to scan. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. The garb on this security there guard identifies him as 
a member of the Rizzo's corporation. His rank would have been that of jawbreaker or higher. This security guard has experienced premature expiration. Evidence strongly suggests a conflict with marauders. Search his pockets. Pay At respect. least he gave his life for a worthy cause. gotten into the spectrum in these crates. Listen to this. Come out! Come out to play! Wow! He's having a grand old time. I'm gonna take him to A2 under the hotel so he can sleep it off. I'll meet you back at the orchard straight after. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. This card also expired prematurely, following a violent encounter with marauders. How do I get over there? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. This card also expired prematurely, following a violent encounter with marauders. Alright, and what is the other... Thing I have to do. Oh, okay, all right, cool. So I have to go back that way. So, do 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 do. Nope, that is the wrong one as well. We will run so far, they're fighting, fighting, fighting. Okay, I'm done. Oh, my neck. So, how's everyone's day going? Well, 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 it's Rizzo's. Welcome to the Purpleberry Nut Hut, you wonderful, wonderful customer. Thank you for giving my humble existence value. I don't know if whatever that is is catching, but let's keep our distance. What is on the side of her neck? I sure am. Good lamps you got on you to take notice. What a lost name. Oh, that? I call it my little passenger. I don't know why. The name just appeared in my head when this thing showed up on my neck. Titties and fear. Don't you dare! Or I'll cut something off you! Gosh, I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. I just felt this urge to protect my little passenger, even if it means hurting you. Nah. 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 I don't know. It just appeared one day. 
I guess I just picked it up while working in the orchards. Sometimes I wonder how it showed up, and I start to worry. Or even better but whiskey and titties. And I hate feeling bad, so I don't worry about it. Couple of days. Ever since it showed up, I've been feeling happier and happier. I really can't imagine life without my little passenger. Now no! I'd love to get you Remove something. Maybe a couple thing. somethings. Whatever you like, I can sell it to you at a low, low price. Our alcohol stop. Welcome. Now. Healthy and Hell of an Orchard like that. No, I'm sorry. The only celebrity who shopped recently is Black Hole Birdie. Quite the affable man, as it so happens. And the stories are wrong. He could probably lift two benches of toss ball players at once, not just one. Laws, not just affable, but virile, too. Ooh, wait a minute. Now that his bow's dead, that means Bertie's single. Maybe I'll strike up a little more than conversation the next time he comes by. Hey, that's a swell idea. Terror I just want you to go take him to see so a movie of his romantic. dead but bo Thanks and you for just... the suggestion. Sadness is a big old waste of time. Besides, the sooner I start courting him, the sooner we can both be happy. I'm so glad you asked. The orchards are my third favorite subject. With my first being Rizzo's refreshing drinks, and my second being Rizzo's toothsome confectionaries. Toothsome? Our orchards are the source of 63% of Rizzo's total produce, which correlates to 112% of fresh goods throughout all of Halcyon. Give or take a few percent, of course. If you want to know more about each part of the orchards, might I recommend one of our fantastic tours? One of our options is even audio-guided as a special bonus feature. I'm so glad you said that. I Our tours want are to remove that thing so subject. badly. Every part of the orchards is so rich with Rizzo's lore. Buy a tour ticket and anoint yourself with knowledge. We have three tour options. Premium, Premium Plus, and the Golden Ticket. Each option is wonderful in its own special way. Premium includes a 10-minute pass to the Sprat Petting Zoo. Premium Plus comes with the novelty Purpleberry and Amber. And the golden ticket is audio-guided in addition to being self-guided. Hmm. Which kind would you like? How about the You're in luck. We have one left. Normally, there are 100 bits, but seeing how I'm sold out of everything else, I can give it to you for just 90. How does that sound? That's great. Thank you so much. Uh, um. I'm sorry. This is a, um, I'm sorry, I can't save you. I could end you. That'll probably have a negative impact on, uh, how everyone sees you. Will you even care? What do you think you're doing? Whoa.
you know, Rizzles is probably still going to look out for me. Let me see what my reputation is with Rizzos. Oh, wow, I just got a reputation with Rizzos. Okay, all right, well, I'm not starting off on the right foot, am I? That really bums me out. I can remove my armor, but I can't remove her. That's crazy. Okay. What's on your mind? Now. Did you know a third of Halcyonites are allergic to trees? Our mind is frequency detected nearby. How are you and the wife? Are we good? How about yourself? Am I missing something? Cause this should definitely be the timeline discrepancy, right? Oh, the ground's disturbed. These footprints match the shoes previously analyzed in the Grand Ballroom. There is a 110% chance with a 10% margin of error that they were left by Ruth Bellamy, the actress known as Halcyon Helen. Hmm. The spacing between the footprints is short and the imprint in the Dirty with Tillman's it appeared that Halcyon Helen was in a Halcyon Helen was in a hurry. You find anything? Helen came through in a hurry. It definitely helps with the can deduce Helen had salt tuna for breakfast last week. Previous, pretty obvious if you know what you're looking for. I should have said that one. She was going. You think someone was giving her chase? Okay. Such lovely. Well, and hello, there's another hello one! Hello there, valued visitor. I am sure sorry to break it to you, but our orchards are closed to all officially guided tours at this precise moment in time. I don't know what's wrong with him, but let's keep our distance. Something Why, tells me you. I need to kill Rizzo's whatever's in the garden. Rizzo's encourages all workers to put on a happy face when engaging with valued customers. Rizzo's does beseech you to please purchase one of our self-guided options if you're wishing to join one of our rejuvenative... Relaxing, reformatory tours. Now with a Puzzle Hedges trademark maze hunt and special edition taste testing for an extra 35 bits a ticket. <coughs> I'm not here for a tour, I'm an investigation. Do you know how to Do you know how to Ah, you mean that lovely actor who got herself dead? Damn shame what happened to her. She did come by, but not during any official tour time. I thought she'd hired a private tour at first, but it was Dr. Blossom who was showing her the way to the RR and DD labs. R -R -D -D? Can't imagine why she'd need to meet with our head researcher on the Spectrum product line outside of her lab hours. Unless, of course, it had to do with the new product unveiling. Oh my god. Are you getting the drink? Is this Slurm? Are you getting the drink, the ultraviolet Rizzo drink? from milking these creatures because if you are you dumb idiots that's right she was she sure made for some lovely adverts maybe it might have involved an issue with the launch batch then i can't rightly say 
All I know is one of our certified tour guides could have given her a much more comprehensive tour of the grounds were that her interest. Can't say that I have. We use bad batches of liquor for our pesticides. Only the exterminator mechanicals are armed around here. And I haven't seen any bloody objects aside from the usual pair of gardening shears. Unless, that is, Miss Helen was also stung to death by pollinization wasquitoes? She wasn't, was she? That would be a mighty wretched way to go. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost... Pollinization by killer wasquitoes, indeedy. It's cutting edge Rizzo's technology. But don't you worry, Val. I'm okay. Our colonization cycles Thanks, only run when the orchards are empty. For safety reasons. I'm glad you're okay. When a pollinization cycle question? finishes I'm sorry, or this, is aborted, this is freaking all me out a little bit. are biologically programmed to return to the hive, their holding pen. Of course, the very last thing Rizzo's would want is a beloved tourist bumbling into the hive and triggering an unscheduled cycle. So you'd best steer clear of it for safety. You'll know the hive by its big, glimmering electric fencing. Yes, indeedy. I've got the wondrous honor of having just been promoted to third keeper of the grounds after the last one disappeared on the job. Gosh, I guess about a week ago now. Before my morning clock in last Sunday, I was but a lowly nanner peeler picker on the line ship. Now I'm responsible for growing every twig and berry on this vast swath of fertile land. You don't find it suspicious as well. Heaven sweet, no. It's not like he was murdered. He simply disappeared without a trace and hasn't been heard from since. And the groundkeeper before that one? Well, she wasn't missing at all. Her body was found near hive control, covered head to toe in thousands of welts. No mystery, and certainly no murder with what happened there. I mean, you can't exactly hold some wasquitoes on trial. <laughs> Accidents do happen on the job. Mm -hmm. Wait, you're not glossing. Wait, no, you're not. We're not glossing over the missing groundskeeper. Shouldn't you be more worried about the well beings? Can't speak for others, but I most assuredly don't. I reckon you could talk to my supervisor, the overseeing orchardist. He would know more. I used to ask questions, but gee, I just don't feel the urge to anymore. Well, now, you certainly are an individual of refined taste. There are folks who defend the premium option and its sprat petting zoo, but once you've been bit by one sprat, you've been bit by them all. Of course, tours of any access level must be suspended during a scheduled pollinization cycle. Our wasquitoes are quite territorial and have been known to sting both workers and visitors alike. Gosh, and goody gumdrops, but I could talk about the orchards till my lips fell off. <laughs> Instead, let's talk about whatever interests you, because that's what interests me, too. Um, yeah, are you okay? You seem excessively happy. Why, you say that as if it's a bad thing. I am quite overcome with happiness, indeed. You won't find a Rizzo's worker in all of Veradanos who isn't 100% thrilled in their day-to-day -day existence. It's part of our brand manifesto. Ooh. Happy workers lead to happy customers. Happy customers are repeat customers. And repeat oh customers God. make are they the doing charts you look purpose? better on our weekly profit reports. So if nothing else, it's my responsibility at all times to smile, smile, smile. And you know what never fails to bring a smile to my face? The breathtaking tours we offer throughout the orchards. Seasonally available for purchase in the Nut Hut. What kind of investigation? You wouldn't happen to be from the health inspection office, would you? Oh, I'm definitely going to say I'm from there. Oh, drat. This distresses me, and I do not like feeling cross. I warned the orchardist this could happen when we halted our monthly bribe to slug. 
They were always a reliable go-between, uh, regarding inspections before now. So, what might you be looking to find out, Mr. Inspector? He's breathing me out. Yeah! Oh, gosh, golly, yeah! For a variety of services. And that's... Mainly protection uh, from themselves. But they also served as employee motivators. Slug motivators intimidated our line workers into producing around the clock. And, of course, they kept the inspectors away. The overseeing orchardist had the last groundskeeper deliver a contract termination in the place of our regular payment. Rizzo's decided we don't need their services anymore. See, with our new morale-boosting medical treatments, our employees are much more productive. No need for unsightly intimidation tactics. They're doing this to you on purpose with your new with your new morale boosting medical treatments. That's what's going on. Rizzles is putting the slugs on you guys on purpose. Oh my god. They're literally turning you into worker drones. Yeah, what exactly is this medical treatment? Sorry, I'm not at liberty to say. Trade secrets and all that. You understand, I'm sure. Absolutely not. You about to, I'm about to intimidate the Oh, I can't intimidate you. Of now, presently, you're standing smack dab in the pride and joy of Rizzo's nearly natural product development sector. We call this fecund landscape the Purple Berry Orchards, since that's our main crop. But we also sow and grow mock apples, nanners, kefree nuts, tarmac, and more. I do... I can't stop you from poking around, but do be mindful of our pollinization hive. Wasquitos tend towards aggressive at the best of times. There's a reason why we keep them behind an electric fence, you know. What's over here? This is primals. Big primals. Drunk lobber. They're not triggered by the robots. Watch out! Thank God I have that thing now where whenever I, um, heal myself, whew, they gain health too. And revive, because God, that helps. I really need better weapons somehow. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Uh -huh. 
timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Conservatory discovered. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Timeline. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as. Stand in awe before our huge Rizzo's Hothouse Conservatory treat mark. This building hosts almost as many plant breeds as we have delicious products. <laughs> almost. Are you wondering about that omnipresent warm and fragrant mist? That's just our all natural fertilizing spray made of pureed sissy pig waste products. From nature, back to nature. Our spray is part of the cycle of life. Note, Rizzo Ooh. discourages inhalation of its safe and natural liquid fertilizer. In case of accidental inhalation, please record any unusual effects and give that record to the nearest Rizzo's employee as quickly as possible. Remember, you are part of the Rizzo's family. Be kind to your family. Okay. Carter Reynolds. Hey, God. What are you doing in here? Are you authorized to be in the conservatory? Are you trying to give me a heart attack? Are you my ex-wife? Bro. No, she fell off the side of Eridanos under mysterious circumstances six years ago. Conveniently rendering our marriage contract null. You must be the new uh, groundskeeper? Hmm, I can't be it either, seeing how the new one hasn't died yet. Just who are you? Bro. Well, that's my intelligence locked. I want to be an asshole so bad. I'm a freelance cat, then I've been hired to investigate how I have a... Very funny. If you were Edna, you would have stabbed me in the throat halfway through the second word of my first question. Believe me, I considered it. I'm getting old, damn it. And after a while, anything that isn't a plant gets hard to distinguish from anything that is. But no, you don't look like it now. Though you do smell a bit like her, like blood and starship breeze. You must be that freelance inspector. Well, I suppose you can poke around as you like. Bleeding hell. Standing up like this makes a body forget how stiff he gets, bent over plants all day. Oh, seems I'm not as young as I feel. Hmm. Indeed. Tromped in and out of the conservatory with no heed for anyone else. Good thing none of my charges were damaged. Starlet or not, I would have had a harsh word for her. I heard she pushed her way into a tour of the RR and DD labs. Not soon after. She's just a serial actress. Yet she acts like she's deserved of the same access as a co-CEO. Well, she's not going anywhere ever again. Which is a shame, of course. Taken too soon and all. Huh. I sit inside and I look at plants. Goal is usually to make Rizzo's fruit products hardier and sweeter, but... For every success, there are a couple of hundred failures. Example, try breeding native tripicale with a foreign strain. Would have called it hextacale. In the end, it bred so fast, workers were swallowed up before they could harvest it. That one, I think, can be attributed to the waspitos. Some lament their irritability, but their productivity is unmatched. What's a few dead workers in the architect's designs? I'll be right back. I need something to drink.
It's the thuggish, ruggish bone. It's the thuggish, ruggish bone. I'm back, y'all. There's one last thing I have to do. I'm not leaving. I gotta make a phone call. Somebody forgot to do what they're supposed to do. Hey, hun, did you forget to do something? Oh. Okay, all right, woman. You let me know when you get to place it safely, damn it. Before I gotta go do stupid things. You think I give a fuck? You think I give a fuck? Because I don't. I don't. <laughs> Giving a fuck don't get me money, so I mean false. Not giving a fuck about people and their rights has made plenty of white people money. Oh, me personally? Oh no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. But I'm working on it. <laughs> well, I'm on stream. Say hi to the stream. Dreams. All right, there's the wife saying hi. Uh, All right, baby. Oh no, I'm I'm excited. Oh, Dre says hi, wife. Uh, I'm excited. I'm just more like. Let me just put you back on speaker. Hi, Dre. <laughs> No, I'm excited, though. I'm excited. I know you only going to be working seven hours, but that also means I got to go to work sooner. So I'm just like, uh, I don't even get to enjoy the time with you. I'm uh, sorry. I'll have the whole week, though, you know, Sunday to Monday. Mm. That is true. Well, why don't you come on by the stream, hang with us, you know, be weird with the rest of us, and Red's chaos of boobs and alcohol. I, I need that not to be a thing. I need that to it's not... Okay. It's not a thing. You okay? It's a thing. Get, you named your people's uh, heathens. Like, no, on. no, 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 no. I named them agents. They named themselves heathens. Okay? I tried to establish a criminal organization, and they established a... a they established a hedonist bathhouse. Here I am, like, we need to be feared and we need to be respected. Meanwhile, I've got a furry banging three other guys in the back room just talking about, yes, daddy. Like, what the fuck is going on in this place? Don't forget your nephews. I'm definitely stabbing somebody. I tried to have organization and instead I got chaos in general and I'm just sitting here. It's in beer. Get your ass on the street. Bye. I love you. Bye. Bye. Get off my phone. Mwah. Bye. Tits. All of you. All of you need to be better. Yes, All of you. Win. All of you need to be better. You say angry. I say efficient. Not only can our wasp kiddos defend themselves, but Rizzo's investments as well. They come through the orchards only during pollinization. My shorts. As dictated by our hive control operators. Which means that visitors usually aren't on the receiving ends of their stingers. Engineer. Well, yes, if there's an equipment malfunction. The pollinization cycle will have to be manually shut down. Which means traveling to hive control while the wasquitos swarm. Something tells me that I'm going to be doing that, aren't Oh no! Fuck! Please! I'm trying to get myself some water! Oh my god, I did not mean to shoot that man! Jesus! Just blasted the little crap out of him!
pour myself water. Because I need water. I need that Aquafina. I hope, I wish we could pick up some drinks and stuff tomorrow, but we're saving the money for the uh, hotel. You think you're tough waving that thing around? Sir, don't make me regret not blasting you. Get out. Part of these notes are illegal, eligible due to the dirt and crushed purple earth. But you can make it for Helen. I know I told you I stumbled onto the scoop of a lifetime, but neither of us could have guessed just how deep this would go. Now some slug from the docking is looking for me, asking a lot of questions. It's time to get out. Do you hear me? Do not, don't waste time packing. Just go. As soon as you read this, you'll know where to meet me tonight, 10 p.m. in the Grand Ballroom. If I don't show up, take the next shift out of here and don't look back. B. Black Hole Birdie? It's the slugs, the parasites. Yo, how fucking evil are these companies? Like, God, I know that companies, companies, companies are, are soulless entities that are just horrible and disgusting, but, well, well, not all of them. There are some that do things for good, but Jesus, literally inducing happiness on your workers? <laughs> You know what we, me and the wife are thinking about? It's a idea the family's having, but tiny homes. Been looking into this YouTube guy named Mr. Tiny. I'm not gonna lie, dude's got a lot of good tiny homes. Like, I guess he's a realtor that sells these things, like tiny homes and stuff. Different styles, models, the insides are like way bigger than you would think they are. Dude's about six foot one. I'm six foot four. I always thought like if I was in a tiny home, it would be too narrow or too, you know, like tight, like not tall enough. I am wrong. I I am okay with admitting that I'm I am very much in the wrong here. Because good God, that's not the case. And you when people do a lot of things to these tiny homes, man. Some people like put fire pits up there. Apparently, some people have hot tubs on the porches of their tiny home. Like you can do a lot with these things. It's just, it's just interesting to me. That's what me and the wife have been thinking about lately. What are y'all thoughts on tiny homes? Okay, where am I supposed to be going? Because I just realized that I don't know. Go 
it's this way. God, I just want to just throw it up no, whatever you're into throwing at me. No. You're covered in them. Oh my God. You're literally covered in them. Oh my god. What the fuck are these things? This is like a Starro nightmare. Oh my god. Oh, no. Now you know what's interesting? Is a drunk lo hold on, let me check these real quick. Yeah, there's no parasite on these. The parasites are specifically going after humans. The shaft of the telephone stick is bent and cracked, exceeding telephone regulation requirements. Is made with it's it's a wicker matter. detected, embedded within the chunks of dark matter. Wicker is not a known ingredient of the dark matter product. <laughs> the only members of a tossball team strong enough to crack a stick in two are the dedicated hackers, like Michael Birdie. Whatever Ms. Ruth Bellamy must have relayed to the tossball hacker during their picnic together instigated a furious increase in his usual strength threshold by 52%. Something went wrong here. I really hope it wasn't the food. Okay. Now let me look at some of these uniforms I've been picking up, because I've picked up quite a few. Ho! Oh! My sweet Ali is going to have a good armor. I mean, Ali, Parvati. Where is that? 
provide baby look at what I got you only the best for my girl Um, trash right trash holy sweet mother of pearl Jesus I don't think I should drop that trash yeah it's gotta go I know I'm foolish, but I'll try it. I wanted to not have another one of those on me, but I'll try it. I saw something moving around here. Oh, the robot. That's what I saw moving. We're running. Running, trying to figure out what the fuck happened. We're running. You ever wonder why the jam between my toes tastes horrible? No. That means you are not a sick individual. Why? Hello? I can hear you out there. If you still possess the majority of your mental capacities, please locate the test room through the lobby and to the left. You'll see me through the glass. What? I ain't say anything wrong. Why did that need to be said? Corporate law is all this commotion down here. Can I for three different hours? How in the Aether did you get in here? You're not a Rizzo's authorized. Oh, void it all. What does it even matter now? What do you want? Speak up and quickly if you will. Free will. He ain't do nothing wrong. 
Chris needed to be slapped anyway for producing Pootie Tang. <gasps> what? What are you? T you know what? see any hostels on the way here from the entry door you could make a run from it goes on in these last way hmm. yes I suppose I should make myself useful let me think oh I know I can remotely unlock the supply closets in the lower levels of the lab perhaps you'll find some useful apparatus or two in them And lose my life's work? You want me to just burn my lab and my entire future to the ground over one experiment that's gotten rather out of hand? No. Remember I think when? Not. We merely need to clean up the mess, so to speak. Reset the lab back to functional parameters. Even I think that's pretty cold, and I'm a mercenary. Staff can be replaced, you know. Research data? Now that's invaluable. Oh no. They're quite unaware of their actions, I'm afraid. We're a research and development branch of Rizzo's, focused primarily on the Spectrum Vodka line. But the specific research that goes on in this facility is utterly confidential. You understand? I'm hacking everything. I'm finding out. I'll find out when I hunt through the labs. You might as well tell me up front. So you've no qualms about snooping through my precious research files. But will you understand the data once you've acquired it? Essentially, we research new innovations for an array of Rizzo's products. My present troubles stem from one we've just developed. The product's potential for profit is nearly limitless. But I'm afraid explaining the science behind it would far exceed your capability for understanding. Ellie, any thoughts on what it could be? If it's causing sudden aggressive behavior in lab technicians, there must be a fast-acting neurological agent of some kind. I've underestimated you. Yes. It seems to be an adverse effect of several organisms attaching to a subject. Quite unnerving. Excellent. You have my gratitude, and soon you'll have my knowledge of Miss Bellamy's recent visit as well. Now, if you'd rather not kill my lab techs during this cleanup, I believe you can dispense a sedative gas from a terminal in the utility room. Your call, Captain. I don't know if the lab techs can even be helped at this point. The door to the lower labs is sealed for our safety, so you'll need to take the elevator down. I'll unseal the access hallway for you now. Do take care. Currently, I have a gun that could rip through your people in a moment's notice. Yeah, no, I'm not above doing this. There we go. And let's see here. Trash. I like, oh, a little trash.
trunch. I love you. I really do. Trash. Um, trash. 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 Guess I don't need to keep anything that's under 50 now. 60, 100. Sixty, sixty, thirty-one, 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 forty-six, forty-nine, forty, forty-nine, thirty-three, forty-one, fifty-three, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-four, forty-nine, sixty-three, forty-nine, fifty-three. Forty one. Forty six. Okay, all right, cool. There we go. I'll go ahead and get this. Not worth it, buddy. It's your filling style. Let's get some pretty attention to increasing the quest so we can get it away with it. Directly to a terminal and alone that could disperse a set of gas and knock them out if you're inclined to spare their lives. Okay, alright, there's something wrong, we need to figure it out. Somebody's a fan of the movies. Hmm. So 
I need to figure out how to get onto the other side of that wall. Those could have helped a lot of people with all the bits they poured into this place. Come in here, please. Pleasure Village. Such a cuts we share it shows three products. So it's like two more researchers. Team. The only real scientist. Stopping the ice and switches to both teams working in the To the extent the other squad balls. that much of Yeah, I'm robbing all your people.
I drank the coffee. I told myself we were crazy. Every single one of us began to have clinical insomnia. She tells us because we drink too much coffee. Well, it is because of the coffee or more so is in the coffee. I had a janitor swap out the coffee grinds an hour later than usual this morning. And what do you know? I've been asleep all day. Those Jersey products have been messing with our supply. Don't ask me how I just know it. They think they're so smart because they know how molecules work. Well, aren't they What the hell? Halsey and Helen. Don't have news results. Charles has Stop immediately. What was in this room? you. Whoa, it's clever, big fella. But yeah, like, seriously, I, I did not expect tiny homes to have that much going off with them, honestly. something? Oh wait, hold on. Did I rob you? I didn't rob you. Ha ha. There's more to rob. There's more to rob. Alright, that's enough. Where am I supposed to? Oh, up the stairs. Must be going up the stairs. Okay. What am I missing? Am I tripping? Is it further down? Is that what it is? Bro. Okay. All right. Let me find the two scientists. That'll help me figure myself out. Okay. So here's the two scientists, which means I would have had to come down this way. Is it, is it in here? Is it in here. No. So I'd have to come down and the elevator's right here. What what am I supposed to be doing? Parasite findings. Rizzo's new gravel regular now for serving the Rizzo's family. Test involving the parasite Iridius gigantus, colliably dubbed slugs, have produced astounding results, even when compared against other more promising methods of producing brain chemical dependency. The pheromone Aridale and Kikaris secret produces dopamine more efficiently than anything on record. Furthering, further tests will continue results. How much 
of the compound we can introduce to subjects and observe the effects. Despite our less than ideal presentation to administration, the product impressed the two main reasons. As mentioned before, this product will produce the boozy feel-good stimulus like no other, but more importantly, pheromone makeup is completely unique, which means there are no regulations surrounding its classification. The idea of a completely addictive product with zero laws surrounding it would certainly justify any means. You! Oh my god! Monster kills all these people over a data cartridge. <laughs> Casings. Whoever Dr. Boss will call with the income, they dispatched her and all four of these scientists without much resistance, meaning they must have been well trained, some kind of sharpshooter or adventurer. What an awful place to die. What do you think happened to her? <sighs> this looks like a needle wound. Whoever did this wasn't using like no weapon. Five kills in and out before we could catch a glimpse of the cold freak. I expect more blood. Strange, I heard gunshots are earned from without any casings. Pretty sure they're dead. Whoever did this was not, was evil. Like some kind of villain that's serial. Maybe time. it was an energy weapon. Yeah, no, what is going on? You're using... <coughs> An experiment gone wrong. The pro. <coughs> I got it. <coughs> I figured it out. Saying <coughs> that these um the little passengers are just appearing. Now I thought that the passenger snuck on them, bit them, and just erased the memory of them being bitten. But what if what they're drinking is causing these things to form inside their bodies and then eventually they just burst out the side of their neck. But because they introduce such a high level of dopamine, they don't feel any discomfort or pain. They don't feel it happening. And because it's just the happy feeling and it's starting to overwrite their brains, they're not acknowledging that it's happening. They're literally ignoring the parasitic growth. These people are fucking evil. Oh my god. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Like, bruh. This may be some of the most villainous shit I've ever heard. Died at a similar time and of similar circumstance as the other corpses already scanned. This is some villainous shit! The organic matter that comprises this lab worker died at a similar time and of similar circumstance as the other corpses already scanned. I went ahead and secretly subdued every single one of them and they died like this. That's insane. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Body heat readings indicate that the culprit was just here mere moments earlier in the timeline. It looks like a standard ventilation shaft is mentioned to put a small frame person allowing them to enter here. It looks like a standard ventilation shaft to me. Somebody around my size could have crawled in. Wouldn't have been comfortable or, you know, clean. Ventilation shafts usually turn into sprat nests. You see a red wire like when you think it could have been just swept to circuit. See that red wire? Okay, Whoever you're just gonna say whatever I saw. trying to disrupt the circuit. They could have sealed the lab doors temporarily. At least until the fail-safes kicked in. <sighs> so the thing is, when I drank water, 
I start to drink through water. Oh, it'll probably help me lose this water weight. No, 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 no. Good God, I did a lot of quests. I did not know I've done that many. Holy crap. Okay. There had to be a reason I got her key card. There's got to be something in here. Computer's not on. What is this? I'm actually invested in this now like this is some good DLC I, I I did not expect to be bought into this like this damn this game is good like, really good okay. so that eliminates black hole birdie everyone's talking about how massive of a man he is right so it can't be Birdie that snuck into the air vent if someone of Pravati's size could get in there. Yeah, I'm expecting Birdie to be as big as one of these damn exterminator robots out here, or one of the Sams. Or at least just a very muscular man. an entrance. There's got to be an entrance. Oh my 
my god, how is there not an extra? There we go. Don't worry, I'll keep my distance. And Rizzo's, we value the dark work. Okay. That's what it was. I need to get back to that lab. I knew there was something else I could have been doing in there. I was like, there's something wrong with this. Fuck it, I'll just run back. Take your best this shot, I really just kept shooting that man with a pulse gun. <laughs> Just gave that man a horrible experience. Very processing discovered. Oh, okay. Functional. Remaining 5% functionality stems from display reading console non-functional. Cause of short out is most likely related to purple residue splattered all across the keyboard. You've got to be doing this just to mess with me. Um. Substance contains trace amounts of purple berries, fruit flavors, and artificial sweeteners number 35, number 49. Number 240, number 322, number 314, and many, many, many others. Inspect the console. Inspect the console. It looks like several electrical panels. <coughs> what was going on here? Okay, hold on. This is interesting. They rhetorically that one of the wilderness exploration is where it keeps got a truck. So what they're telling us say that they are the least of what's wrong with their pursuit to beat him to death with his own rifle and escape to the war kids. Get out of here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm supposed to say the slogan. <laughs> okay, you can do this, Anna. <clears throat> here goes. It doesn't matter if you're you or me. We're all part of the Rizzo's family. How was that? I thought that was uh, a real good effort. Keep at it. No jest. Well, that's a wager I sure would have lost. Guess even a busted spectrometer can be right if you hold it to the light, huh? I'm sure you've guessed it, but I'm not the best at remembering slogans. And when I can't remember them, I tend to just make them up. But I guess that's why I'm just an intern and not a full-timer. At least, not yet. 
Do you think I'm, I don't think I'm gonna enter before you see me sitting in the big leaves? Oh yes. I thought I saw someone who looked self-important enough to be her by the conservatory some time ago. Not to speak ill of the dead. I simply never liked the way she stole the limelight from the true star. Burbage 3001. You're a Burbage fan? Or what about Spencer Woolrich? Who? I certainly am. That aerodynamic chassis? How the light glints off his rotund head? The way he enunciates, cry havoc, and let loose the canids of war. Excuse me, I got a little lightheaded there. Nobody does shake. You do like not want to bang a robot. What are we talking about? Okay, look, well, real, real talk, real talk. I gotta ask a specific demographic out there, right? <clears throat> we're, we're taking the furries, we're putting them to the side. Um, my monster bangers. But you know what? You know what? We're an agency. We're an organization, right? My monster seducers and my robot seducers, right? Question. What is it about them that specifically does it for you? Because I've been trying to look at it. I'm like, some monsters. I'm like, okay, all right. I guess, you know, I, I, I can guess I can understand. But then when I say I can understand, y'all will tell me, oh, no, 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 no. That's, that's light. That, that's light work. No, I'm talking about Shin Godzilla. That's who I want to blow the back out of. So I'm just wondering, like, it can't be personality for some of them because some monsters don't even have sentience. So, what is it? Because <laughs> if, if one of you told me, like, oh... I wanna, I wanna seduce a dragon. Okay, which dragon? Like, like, how does a dragon look cute to you? Like, is it the size? Is it the wingspan? Is it the tail? The horn? The scales? Like, what? Like, what would make, what would make Aragon dragon sexy and not Lord of the Rings dragon sexy? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, you, you understand me? <laughs> Why, why are these questions I have to ask? Oh, God. I suppose so. I also suppose Helen won't be stealing the limelight ever again. It's not so different from being a regular worker, just with less pay and less respect. Oh, it's also Damn. more dangerous than traditional employment. You don't have the experience to back up your work yet, but being fired isn't any less threatening. Work-wise, I do a bit of everything. The orchards have been short-staffed as long as I've been working here. So if there's an odd job around, it usually gets passed to me. Uh, hold on, y'all, real quick. Daniel Bryan, yes, 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 yes. Okay, all right. Um, I take it you know things stand in turn. Much as I love delivering coffee and medical attention, not quite. No. Don't tell anyone I said this, but I sometimes feel that our workers could be treated a little better. Maybe only get electrocuted awake every other day. So I'm shooting for administration in Rizzo's. Maybe even the board itself. Best way to evoke change is from the inside, I think. They get electrocuted awake daily? Nah. Laws, you've got a sixth sense for finding the most embarrassing question, huh? My mother is the Rizzo's assistant vice president of flavor testing. She set me up with this position. 
mostly to keep me from troubling her work, I think. Consequently, I don't always feel like I deserve to be here. All the more reason to work harder, I say. Well, at least you got a good work ethic. I'll give you that much. Much higher chance of promotion. If I can tough it out here without getting axed, I can skip the five plus years of customer service I'd normally have to deal with. I can prove my merit here and move up in the world. And the sooner I do that, the sooner I can set to improving things for everyone else. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mother did mention that from time to time, but she always kept me far away from her work. Who could complain about happier workers and higher profit gains? I Wow, that's some decidedly paranoid thinking. I can't imagine someone ever doing something that nasty. Happy to enlighten you on the fascinating world of internships. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Unless you already have, and I've forgotten. In which case, I probably won't forget a second time. already told you six times, and I'll tell you six more. I don't want a fucking tour! You can badger me all you want. I don't care if I'm from Forest Mills. I'm here as an individual, and I have just as much right to be here as any other visitor. You're welcome to bring a lawyer if you really want to try to force me out, but I can guarantee you that I will bury them. Uh, these are gonna be every single person who approaches you are on my special. <laughs> oh, what the hell are you talking about? Who is trying to kick you out, buddy? Calm down. You should watch your tone. My killing hands getting itchy when people raise their voice. <laughs> like, so you screaming? Don't play dumb with me. How many of you fools have I spoken to by this point? Seven? Seventeen? I. Wait a moment. You have all your teeth. You're not soaked in filth, and you don't look quite as slack-jawed as the regular Rizzo staff. Are you not with Rizzo's? Do they? No! I could, I, you know what? I, I might as well. Bah! I've lived in Byzantium long enough to read between your words. Here's your filthy money. Since you're already here, perhaps I can sweeten the pot even further. Regardless, please inform me if you'd be interested in a job. I've spent enough time out here that I'm starting to itch. I do not enjoy itching. I'm sure you have questions. Okay, let's, uh... You said you're a lawyer. What are you doing out here? When the going gets tough, the lawyers start going. Some farther than others. I've been a junior lawyer for coming up on 20 years now. And quite frankly, I'm getting old. Hopefully, there will be enough legal kindling out here to fuel my firm for a while longer. And if I find that kindling, I stand to finally get my raise. I do indeed. Specifically, I'm their general counsel. Forest Mills, if you somehow don't know, owns Tile, Wentworth, Dock Rocket, and 24-7 Furniture. Were something of a big deal. Hmm. I did. You see, Rizzo's has been advertising a contest in the Puzzle Hedges. Whoever gets to the center first gets a bottle of the first Spectrum ever made, the Spectrum Original. My interest, however, lies with the associated promise, the chance to attend the Spectrum Brown unveiling and meet Halcyon Helen. Or she's dead. Uh, 
I hate to disappoint you, but... I'm not disappointed. I'm ecstatic. You may not know it, but you've just outlined the grounds for my lawsuit. Rizzo's, you see, can no longer make good on their promise for people to meet Helen. However, the contest has not yet been cancelled, which means that I can bring them to court. With the Spectrum original bottle, which is located in the center of the puzzle hedges, I will have all I need to sue Rizzo's for all they're worth. That's where you come in. Why was it good? Technically, I sue not on behalf of Forrest Mills, but for my own benefit. In arbitration, it might be difficult to argue that this contest is designed to slight Forrest Mills. However, as it so happens, if my lawsuit takes a chunk out of their savings, then I can collect while also damaging their capital. It's a mutual win. I make millions, Rizzo's falls further from the board's good graces, and Forrest Mills products look that much more valuable compared to Rizzo's trash. Hmm. Navigating the maze is normally no easy task. Rizzo's has no interest in giving their property, however old, away for free. Come on, Captain, it'll be fun! Not like they got Manta Queens waiting around the corner or anything. I'm glad you're feeling confident, but this maze is deadly by design. And if that weren't enough, Zimmerman and Navarre don't want anyone sneaking away with their prize. The place is mined and rife with murderous mechanicals. Hmm. I don't know if you know this, but Rizzo's is on the outs. They're losing power and losing money. This was no doubt a desperate bid to regain some lost clout. That, or their marketing team, is particularly spiteful. You know the saying, I'm sure. Why work for a promotion when sabotage takes half the time and a quarter of the effort? That is not an old saying, but I like it. <sighs> Two buffoons, but persistent buffoons. There's that woman from Glacial Age who has perhaps never had an original idea in her life and hopes Damn. to pass the original off as her own. Then there's Navarre. Who is strange? I suggested I give her the original after my lawsuit if we work together. But she wouldn't hear of it. It must be hers alone, it seems. Hmm. Excellent! I look forward to finally being able to focus solely on legal matters. Oh, and keep an eye out for competitors. Odds are they'll be looking out for the original as well. I want to get this. Ah, my word, stranger. You sure gave me a fright. I thought you were one of those strange sorts heaving all over the place. Maybe they got a bad batch of purpleberry wine. Since you don't seem to be laughing maniacally or projectile vomiting, Think you could do me a favor? I'm trying to come up with a new name for a glacial age product, but the creative side of things just isn't my area of expertise. Do you happen to have any ideas? Oh. Uh... Wow. wow, a real consultant. And I had the good fortune for you to luck into me. I'd be delighted to pay you. So, the company I'm with is Glacial Age. Our products usually have a finer ring to them, and the product I'm trying to name is a vodka. Take your shot. Sounds great! I'm sure my bosses will love it. And don't worry, I'll absolutely credit you in one of the product footnotes. Mm -hmm. Oh, nothing all that fantastical. Just a new product idea Glacial Age R&D is working on. Uh, an idea that has nothing to do with why I'm in the puzzle hedges. <laughs> But as it so happens, I'm a little on the lost side, so thinking about it helps keep the panic at bay. 
If you find a map or a stepladder or something, don't hesitate to let me know. I'm beginning to fear coming here wasn't worth the trouble. Clone, I took a while guessing how you're in a maze. You want to reach the center? Close. I want what's in the center. You've heard of the competition, right? Whoever gets to the center gets a rare Rizzo's... My eyes on the rare Rizzo's product. Name <coughs> it Spectrum Original. The first product... So you're just gonna steal somebody else's formula? <sighs> I probably should have seen this coming by now. Ooh, this is dandy. I was not oh. expecting any feedback from field testing before I'd even created the product. I'll be sure to jot that down for future reference. All I need for my prototype is the original itself. Then I can start production. I promise to give the original to someone else. Is this some of the original to make your own production kind of dishonest? I'm not seeing why you want my help. You're not the only one seeking this product, right? It's dishonest? I've only ever heard that word used in that arbitration serial, Lawful Labelle. Rizzo steals, Spacer's Choice steals, Auntie Cleo steals. And so, if Rizzo decides to release one of their original products for anyone to take, then it's Glacial Age's right to swoop in and be proactive. It's these damn puzzle hedges. I don't know what I look like, but I reckon it ain't like a scrapper. That place is fit to burst with mines and killer machines. No doubt the work of my rivals. Better no one can get to the original if they can't have it. Mm. Reckon not. I've seen a couple of folks as out of place as... Well, me. One's a lawyer. You can tell by the smell of cigarettes, booze, and tears. Must sense there's a lawsuit to be found with the original. On principle, I don't want him to get it. Hmm. Also, ran into a woman with a funny look in her eye. Plain told me she wanted the prize so she could stick it on a shelf. Hell's the use in that. Shelf ain't gonna help nobody. Huh. Looks like the others are getting a little more aggressive. I know it's asking a lot, but maybe you could find it for me instead? Help out a struggling R&D developer? My oh my, wouldn't it be wonderful if a freelancer could help rescue me from my horrible plight? Hey, when a body hasn't contributed to her R&D team in what feels like months, she starts to pursue any leads that come her way. I tested into this job, same as anyone else, but there was a malfunction with the testing equipment during my final assessment. Makes me think that maybe I wasn't cut out for this. No matter what the scores say, it ain't easy for me to make things. Only had a few successes, like little sisties, pustules that pop. Or my no must no fuss biodegradable bullets. Biodegradable bullets. Love those. All the fire part, none of the evidence. Eventually. <laughs> it's so hard to decide which of those sound worse. Yes. Ah, well, some of these ideas are still. still works in progress. Yes. Just got to iron out the kinks. They'll catch on. Oh, unrelated, but if you think you see any tears in my eyes, it's just allergies acting up. <laughs> Lots of plants and pollen and such in these orchards. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, no. Oh. What? You know about those? I mean, that's great. Always figured my products were niche. That is, unpopular, unknown, and unprofitable. Nice to hear it ain't always so. Okay, what was the top option no, gonna give me? Ah, well, some of these ideas. Oh, unreal. Uh -huh. You forgot? My I was hi. Okay. This way. Oh, 
sensation must be near, I can almost smell it. Well, I could if I had any sensation in my nose or mouth. I've been eating puppy for the last day, and the, at first they were pleasant. Lately, it's been harder to work my jaw to chew them. Six of us entered this maze under pretense of a funny hut that I made secret. If only a fool would take that face value. Carter got us lost in only a few hours, and when Sydney and some of the others became abrasive, I decided to be proactive. Fewer people to split the rewards with. Before I shot him, Carter claimed that it wasn't worth it, that the treasure could have been could be shared. He must have been desperate indeed if he thought I would have fallen for the same trick twice. Whatever the case, I'm sure I'll be up and searching again. I will find the treasure. I will die trying. Yeah, you died, stupid. I've got a lot of death over here. There's just bodies of people. I have no idea where these guys are. Vermophobia, constant taking damage from parasites infected. Cure is effective for all worm like creatures. No! These are all terrible stats. Like, I understand that some of these are penalties, but Jesus, they're not even worth it. Holy crap. Accidentally find the center of the maze? Container has some ceilings half buried in the dirt. Looks like the person took the original dad didn't hide their tricks so well. Crowd with you reach the center. This fucking plans with five discount for the Wow, just a five percent discount. Here we go. Greetings. Congratulations, visitor. You have found your way to the center of the purple area puzzle where it just you've earned this one of a kind bottle. The right to look upon the first kind of visible free of charge. We encourage you to wonder at the spectrum. So keep these three face for Oh!
Now I'm just wandering around looking for the other lady. Prank them, John. That's basically what I did. Okay, I found... now I can't get out the damn maze. <laughs> All right, hold on. I can figure this out. I can figure this out. No, that's the way to get in. Um, maybe I'm doing this right. I'm only human after all. Don't put the blame on me. Don't put the blame on me. I'm hearing Oh, y'all. Greetings. Have you brought your mechanical <coughs> to the service technician lately? Sneak intelligence. What you just said sounds both banal and scripted enough to be a code phrase. Am I wrong? No need to get testy. Everyone forgets maintenance from time to time. Judging by this exchange, I presume you are not the person I was waiting here to meet. You're not covered in a layer of dirt, fertilizer, and self-loathing. Listen, I don't know you, so I'd rather keep my admissions to a minimum without the presence of legal counsel. Lady, how many deals are you involved in? About these edges. That's as much as you need to know. I'm pretty sure she's hiding something. And I'm not sure I want to know what it is. I take offense to that. I think. Oh, I get it. You're after the president's in there, too. Not so loud. <sighs> Damn it. I guess you already <clears throat> know. Ugh. I am me. indeed looking for the prize. You've caught me. Sorry, I already agreed to get Spectrum and Um. Oh, to the billing, why are you here? What interest have I in an unveiling? I don't watch much in the way of serials, and crowds only make it easier for people to get behind you. I'm after the Spectrum original itself. And not to drink. Have you noticed that there's no trace of anything the corporations have done in the past? In fact, this contest for the original is the only time I've ever seen a corp refer to a prototype product not currently on the market. And why isn't it on the market? Uh. Indeed. And it's happened before. Seems the Corp are trying to hide their past failings. Anyhow, it's valuable to me to collect that which might inform future generations. Did you now? And how do you know the others aren't secretly Rizzo's agents who will stab you in the back and take the bottle the moment you turn away? Give me the original and your actions will actually matter. I can promise you that. Mm. 
There's a bottom feeder who sees an easy payday connected to it, but he's hardly worth considering. I also briefly engaged with an optimistic young woman intending to use the original as a springboard for upward mobility. Better than letting it rot, but still not ideal. Keep your voice down. Sorry about that prize you're looking for. Who are you exactly? Nobody of consequence. Think of me as an archivist. I collect that which the corporations have dismissed as failures and try to sweep under the rug. Take the recalled Spacer's Choice Powerhead. It was a shotgun shell on a stick, apparently supposed to be used like a spear. Had a tendency to ream the user's torso with buckshot. Corps don't want the common man to know about screw-ups like that. Which is why I keep my actions decidedly in the shadows. <coughs> I did. <coughs> when I paid to inform on the orchards after I heard murmurs of a prize here. For security reasons, I never learned much about my contacts. All I knew about this one was that they were a groundskeeper. But the one here is either senseless or acting very well. Presumably, whoever I was in contact with was lying. Or they were found out and hurled off the side of Eridanos. It's a risk of the business. Didn't find the prize, but I did find a lead. I'm afraid I haven't made much headway on my own. Admittedly, I'm a little wary of all the explosions I keep hearing. Better than a burning barrel filled with Spectrum Original bottles, I suppose. Follow your lead. Keep an eye out for fakes. Okay. Well, then that's taken care of. I was hoping that by the time you came back, I'd have a better idea for my product name. Hi there. It's weird, so it looks gone. I think I gotta leave. Ain't great news, but I'm glad you've got a direction. I don't have much of a backup plan if you don't find this thing. What the fuck? I'm glad you're back. The sooner I gain your assistance, the sooner I can leave these miserable outdoors and return to my temperature-controlled office. I'm sure you have questions. Has there... You do? Hmm. I should have expected that things wouldn't be as easy as they look. Carter Reynolds. Hello again, youngster. You're certainly doing a lot of running to and fro. Don't overexert yourself. The wasp ketos can smell weakness. Bleeding hell. Standing up like this makes a body forget how stiff it gets, bent over plants all day. Oh, seems I'm not as young as I feel. I found this bottle at the heart of Polo Grove. Says it's yours. Oh, there that damn thing is. Thank you. I guess this proves it's wise to label your things. Otherwise, some fool might use them as prizes in an ill-advised scavenger hunt. Found it real close to where it should have been the 
Oh, did you draw this when you were stealing the original from me? You didn't tell me. Said this in a maze. The prize was not. I don't like being disappointed. Easy there, my angry young friend. I can explain. I will admit, I did take the original, yes. But I did so to keep it away from those who shouldn't have it. It's safer in my hands. If you're here to get it, I might suggest you give up. I'm known to be quite a stubborn git. Well, let's see here. What do you want the original for? Do you think the mines and killer mechanicals were a bit of an overreaction? Can intimidate you. I didn't want it for anything. I needed to keep it safe. Rizzo's almost never makes mistakes, but offering a classified original product to the public for free? Any upstart might grab it and use it to make Rizzo's look bad, or, or steal it to make a new product offshoot, or, law forbid, start a lawsuit of some kind. Better I hold on to it. The what now? I didn't order any mines or machines. I just paid Slug to encourage people not to enter the puzzle hedges. Figured they just dress somebody up like a primal and chase maze goers. Like we did after the Spectrum Black unveiling a decade back. Or maybe that was a real primal, I forget. Persuade, you take me original makes it seem like we were with a path, which is fraud. Administrator of Hooker, I'm gonna persuade. Damnation, hadn't thought of that. Isn't my having it better than any random guest making off with it? I guess not, if it'll cause the company more trouble. Here's the original. Don't do anything with it that I wouldn't do. Now then, I have three people to either Can't all three of you just work the fuck together? I'm glad you're back. The sooner I gain your assistance, the sooner I can leave these miserable outdoors and return to my temperature-controlled office. I'm sure... Great day for... Keep your voice down. <sighs> All right, y'all. The lawyer, the collector, or the person that wants to do the offshoot. I was hoping that by the time you... Hi, the... Damn. Y'all, who should I give it to? I honestly don't know. The lawyer wants to sue the place and make it look worse while getting paid money. Not bad. The the entrepreneur wants to make an original make make original offshoot using the drinks formula. Which, you know, I get cool, but I feel like that's I could open them up to a lawsuit or litigation, but she says the other companies do it and nothing happens. And then the collector woman, I don't know what she wants to do with it. Who should I give it to, guys? I genuinely don't know. What's on your mind? Hmm. Guess I ought. Let's see here. 
I guess it's down between the entrepreneur and the lawyer. Who to give it to? The entrepreneur. I'm a, see, my problem is your last name. I don't like your last name, girl. But the entrepreneur. And the lawyer. the sound of all of those fuckheads. on your end of the deal and I will on mine. Here is your pay. Oh, la, you don't know how much you've done for me. Once Glacial Age makes their version of this product, you better believe you're getting a special thanks. It seems the prize I was after has mysteriously vanished. Of course, I am perfectly composed and not fucking furious about the utter waste of time and money. The Spectrum original appears to have vanished, as it shall from the history books. An unfortunate waste, but at least it won't be missed, like everything in this colony. Okay, y'all will get over it. Anyway, um. Is it in this maze? You were. Thought you were a gorilla. My apologies. A primal. I thought it was a primal. Are you not going to talk to me? Oh, that's crap. She won't talk to me. Maybe I could hold up my end if your people weren't sabotaging my operations. We just want to sleep for 12 hours, see if she talks to me afterwards. I think she's gonna talk to me now. Okay, let me try going around the building. Well, that's disappointing. And if sabotaging the orchards weren't enough, you had to make it personal. 
You really had to bust my Insta coffee maker too? The nerve. Uh, hold that asinine, asinine thought. Who is this armed stranger who just wandered into your office? Back up for a fight you can't finish? What the hell are you talking about? I don't know this fella. I think it's mightily more likely that he's under your payroll. Here to burn down what you haven't already. No, yeah, no, no one's paying well, which is not to say I can't be. Just an investigator murder, go bunch of business. I see. Just a visitor, then. Congratulations, Hathaway. Not everyone's abandoned your orchards. Well, shame that you're trying to change that. Anyway, sorry for the heated reception, stranger. There's just been some trouble here. Yes, right. I've read all y'all reports. Name's overseeing Orchardist Hathaway. And I'm in charge of these orchards. Though it seems like certain groups, which will remain unnamed, are trying to change that. Looks like I'm stuck playing the part of a customer service rep. Guess it's different from the usual, at least. Uh, something I can do for you? Sir. Yeah, let's see about that. Have you listened to Jacob? He's barely coherent. Don't take any heed to what drivel he spouts. I was too distracted by whatever was going on with his eyes to pay much attention to what he said. Since when did we need help? The orchards might be massively below quota, losing workers at an alarmingly fast rate and beset by strife on all sides, but... Actually, fuck it. Got instructed oh. by Administrator Ludovico to stop paying Slug their bribe money. Not soon after, our groundskeeper disappeared. And I reckon there are more to come. We weren't doing it because we enjoyed it, Hullhead. Sublight kept the workers on task when they started flagging, which we paid them for. Workers ain't needed much motivating lately, which is probably why the admin cut payments off. Hmm. You think they have, uh... Think they have something to do with the groundskeeper's parents? Could be. Be careful if you decide to go investigating them or nothing. <coughs> People have been disappeared for less, as I guess you can tell. Yeah, I saw her. Tried to flag her down for an autograph, but to no avail. Ran right by me. No idea where she was heading. Seemed like she had a lot on her mind. Yeah. Just another woe to add to the pile. In the past, the orchard subcontracted security work from Slug. You know, keep the malcontents on staff from causing too much trouble. But between the Spectrum Brown unveiling demanding all of our resources and the recent uptick in worker accidents, we we just ain't got the budget for security. And, of course, Slug has decided that instead of being reasonable, they're just gonna sabotage our operations until we start paying them again. Look at the poor Rizzo's manager, lying about Sublight to make himself feel better. Shame he skipped where Rizzo's were short on our payments months before the new unveiling. Look, at the end of the day, it's obvious that Slug is sabotaging us. I ain't paying until they come clean. Oh, you know, nothing particularly troublesome. Just rogue exterminator mechanicals opening fire on anything that twitches within 300 yards of them. We've also got a large group of new saplings, all dead from some kind of toxic substance. Poison, I guess. And who could forget the tower processing console, which probably just shorted out and stopped working on its own, even though it's outfitted with three separate backup systems? There are a suite of explanations for what could have happened, most pointing to Rizzo's worker incompetence. My people didn't sabotage anything. It's the strangest thing. Like everyone forgot their 10-minute workplace safety seminars. That's twice as long as the next leading brand. Our people should be safety experts. But I've seen folks step on open electrical wires, drop pallets on each other, one damn fool even blundered into a wasp keto hive. 
Even as he died, he looked fairly pleased. Thank the law, some good news. You hear that, lapdog? Truth's coming. Better fess up while you still can outside of an interrogation room. While I'm sure you'd love to have a scapegoat on whom you can pin your own incompetence, I suspect you'll be disappointed. But what do I know? I suppose it's up to your new hiree. Huh? Huh? Oh. Somewhere in the occupation, in turn of stones. Please don't let it be her for everything. Pipeline discrepancy detected nearby. Analysis. This discarded canister is typical of the R-mounted storage tanks on the orchard's agricultural mechanicals. However, it is not currently attached to a mechanical. This canister contains a high amount of vinegar in addition to water. Warning, use of vinegar, a known herbicide on purpleberry saplings, is a violation of Rizzo's agricultural standards. These canisters can typically be found in the nursery storage building in the purpleberry orchards, except for this one, which can be found here. I love this little machine. Chemical makeup of substance. 50% water, 50% vinegar. Trace amounts of woolly cow feces also detected. Uh, I feel like there was another part to this place, wasn't there?
Anna, what's going on? Why does it look like you're sabotaging this place? Back again, eh? I knew you couldn't resist my charms for long. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Unless you already have, and I've forgotten. In which? Uh, the trouble in the orphan. What? No, that's ridiculous. I can't tell you I've never made any mistakes, but it'd be pretty hard to keep my job if I were trying to break everything. Though there was the time I tried to fix a broken hinge on one of our mosquito hives and released a swarm. Chased me around the orchards three times before I managed to get help. Considering the whole sting you to death thing, I feel like you got off easy. Don't I know it? Worker friend of mine ran afoul of one of the swarms and had to get new kidneys. Not due to renal failure, but because the mosquitoes kept stinging his kidneys. Don't worry though, mosquitoes are typically only about when living folks aren't in the orchards. Uh, so what happens if a mosquito gets to uh, get another? If you're trying to distract me from your failings, it's not gonna work. I'm not trying to distract you. And what failings are you talking about? I've been helping the orchards. Hold a moment. You haven't found anything, have you? Oh, a strange substance on a pros on a processing console goes to a few uh, toxic. Yeah. Well, maybe. I might have had a supersized cup of mixed purpleberry punch and lemon slap that I might have knocked over when I was running routine diagnostics. Look, I know what you're thinking, but I have the proper permit to mix those drinks. I just left it in my other work uniform. I doubt it. I've used that exact same line. Hey, we have a lot of uniforms. It's hard keeping track of all your belongings. Did you dump the drink before or after you moved the console's panel, control panel over it? How did you notice? I... The diagnostic normally takes hours, and that's only if humidity's low. I wanted to take the initiative to try and make it faster. Why should weed killer affect saplings? Weed killer. It's in the name. It should kill only weeds. Oh, that really dumb. seems like it's more on product design than on me. Seems a bunch of exterminal outmakes were on a path. Well, yes. The orchards are becoming overrun with pests. Usually we give workers handguns and tell them to go to town, which results in many injured workers and a few dead sprats. Our exterminator Automax only kill mosquitoes, and even then, only if an exec somehow ended up in the orchards during a pollinization cycle. So I decided to do some reprogramming. The reprogramming was easy until I locked myself out of the terminal. Then, when I was running away from the bots, I dropped the terminal access card somewhere in the orchards. Bots oh. should have cut me full. Would have been easy enough to shut them down then. Just a bunch of work. Believe me, I know that now. Guess I did sort of mess that one up. Law's alive. I really did think I was doing good by the orchards. With all that you've told me, it sounds like I've done much more harm. I know it's a lot to ask, but is there a chance you could vouch for me to my boss? It might not seem like it, but I've been trying to take the initiative. I really do want to help. I'll talk to him. I know I'm trying to make things better. I'll talk to you both. I don't know. I'm going to enable you to screw up even more. Once you can burn down the rest of the garden, no chance. Maybe. Well, it could, but not if I'm given proper supervision. Everyone has to learn somehow, right? I guess I'm not sure what more to say. I suppose I just hope you'll make the right decision. If not for me, then for the rest of the Rizzo's work. All right. Now I'd love to get you something. Maybe a couple somethings? Wow, what a strange question. I'm much too delighted to be suspicious. 
I sold lower level spectrums to workers from our R&D D labs, Hive Control, and the Conservatory. Jacob's predecessor also splurged briefly on a bottle beyond his pay grade, and Black Hole Birdie bought my most expensive spectrum when he visited. I wish he'd bought more. Oh, if you're looking for your own spectrum, remember that you can always buy from the Nut Hut or the Grand Co All right, time to go vouch for this girl and try to save her job and her life. You're back, I see. Glad Slug hasn't managed to scare you off. I think it's more of a wonder that nothing in these law-forsaken orchards has managed to kill them. How's the investigation going? You got a complete report for me yet? All right, I've completed my investigation. All right, let's hear the details. The drink was spilled over the coffee pile, which I was next. I took care of the... Okay, yeah. A drink? I ain't ever heard of no saboteur dumping drinks all over equipment to destroy it. I hate to say it, but that sounds more like worker carelessness. How many times do I have to tell you this, old man? Slug isn't behind your problems. Slug wouldn't even need to cause you problems. Your own workers do enough. Ha! Knew Slug was behind the damn sabotage. Please. We're subtle, but that's too subtle. If we wanted to destroy your saplings, you'd have known them by the blackened remnants of their stems, not some half-assed poisoning. Huh. You didn't destroy any of them? Reckon I would have lost that bet. Thanks. One less expense for you to explain to your bosses, Hathaway. Lucky you. So what were the fine details of the sabotage anyhow? Were slugs lackeys trying to get the mechanicals to kill all our waspkitos? Boy, the slug is trying to mess. Would you love a thing? Of course. And what better way to do that than by targeting our pollenizers? They'd be a hell of a pain to kill manually. But if you set the mechanicals to do it... In your delusional fantasy, the waspkitos wouldn't be out until next pollinization cycle. Wouldn't someone notice the rampant mechanicals beforehand? That seems like a question you should be asking yourself. It wasn't him. Is there a way to manually initiate the pollinization cycle? Well, yes, it's possible to manually start and end cycles in hive control, but we keep a careful watch on it. And there have been no non Rizzo's personnel in or out. Stop wasting everyone's time, Hathaway. What you're proposing is infinitely less likely than an idiot maneuver by one of your incompetent workers. I won't hear any further slander. Let's go through this one final time so even you can't confuse it, Hathaway. Slug didn't do a damn thing to your orchards. You're chasing ghosts. Talk about ghosts all you like, but someone was screwing with my orchards. If it was... Okay, here we go. But she didn't do it on purpose. Summers? The intern? I didn't really take her for a meddlesome type. But now that I think about it, that's why she'd be a perfect saboteur. I'll deal with her later. Right now, we of the Orchards have to settle things with Slug. I reckon that you're about as impartial a third party as we're gonna get. Can you mediate? Ah, what the hell. The Orchardist seems to get off on complicating what should be a simple deal, but at this point, I just want to be paid and go. The pollen in the air is... agitating. You wasted Slug's time in trying to blame your screw-up on the payoff. Slug's presence is making productivity much worse. I'm giving you another second. Rizzles will have the best to spare after you know, the pay-pay of interest. You did, you did, you did. Just wait. Hmm. Never like paying bits if I ain't gotta, but you're right. If we get production finished now, we'll be able to pay later. Thoughts, slug boy? I think that's the first interesting suggestion I've heard since our back and forth began. Slug can wait for an increase in costs. I hope we won't have this conversation again. Now that that's out of the way, we can discuss the intern. If she was really causing all that trouble, I will delight in severing her from her job. 
Your answer has confused me. And uh, she obviously seemed like she just wanted to help. Send the sprite back to the life. She just let her keep doing what she's been doing. Even if I were inclined to believe you, that's some damn severe incompetence you're talking about. I still wouldn't want someone like that working the orchards. Perhaps you could be of use to each other. What the hell are you proposing? Let her burn the orchards down while I stand behind her and applaud? We ain't got nothing to exchange. Anton's an honest worker. I bet she can do this job with your guidance. She wants to help, does she? You know what? I'll call your bluff. She can keep at it with close supervision. But if she screws up even once, she's out. Use your pay, with a little extra for getting to the bottom of things. It's gonna be real interesting in the orchards for the foreseeable future. Thanks, I guess. So, our situation is finally resolved. At the end of the day, it's almost amazing how easily you were able to solve both of our issues. Shame you aren't living in Byzantium. Could have been an intercorporate diplomat. But at the moment, I'm more than pleased to take advantage of your considerable skill. Thanks for ending this nightmare, Inspector. Wow, okay, that, that person's nowhere near me. No. No. Ah. Uh. Hold on. There we go. Okay, somehow it's in here. Remember, it takes 62 muscles to frown, but only 8 to bitch slap someone. Caught a real lucky break working on Eridanos. I could have been stuck on Terra too. Oh god, they all have that damn thing.
amounts of kerosene, alcohol, hydrazine, and liquid hydrogen also detected. <coughs> So, what'd you find? Dang it, I didn't want to know. Okay, can I, how far back can I go? Two minutes? I didn't even do any of the studying I was supposed to do. I just zoned past all that. How far did I get? Okay, cool. Not too far. Yep, cool. Stealing your stuff. Stealing your stuff. Take it in and run. You guys are literally too happy to feel any type of anger, which is good for me, but creepy as hell. started this for a reason. What? What was the reason? What did I do that made me restart? I got here and I did something. Mm -mm, no, I'm not. I'm not that. No, I'm not that tired. Right, that's what it was. Jesus. Okay, anyway, um. Oh, that was all there was. So. Huh. Wonder why someone would leave it here. Slug runs the hotels. And the spaceport. And Law knows what else. So that don't exactly narrow it down. Spectrum. Cool. Where am I going? I didn't know Rizzo's made a Gatling gun. Seems a mite unnecessary. Huh. Seems like it's mine now, Ellie girl. Tartarus. I love right now. Yeah, I know, it's one o'clock. Oh shit, that's not reliable. Penthouse, there we go. Hey, I was gonna stop it, but I figured he was room service. He started going through Helen's things, and I figured. Maybe the timeline. Oh, sweet.
neighboring. Nope, I heard something. Yep, I heard something. I'm not stupid. I heard something. Let's try that again. I know I'm not dumb when I heard that. Hey, I was gonna stop him, but I figured he was room service. Then he started going through Helen's things, and I figured maybe you want to work with him. The imprint left inside this suitcase matches the silhouette of Halcyon Helen's iconic handgun, the Needler. The weapon was recently removed. Oh, sweet gibbering law! Where'd you come from? Sorry. Good night, everyone. Good night, Dre. Whoa, 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 it's not what it looks like. Give me one reason why I shouldn't kill you. <laughs> I'm gonna move your hands, I gotta see you. Pretty sure it looks like a wrestling mask when I'm going through my things. Easy, friend. No need to get violent. There are as many reasons to spare my life as there are flavors in Rizzo's Spectrum Vodka. I'll give you two reasons. First, I am a valuable asset to the Rizzo's Rangers Toss Ball Enterprise. And secondly, I'm just here doing a job for a VIP. Mascot's honor. Uh, what I am job? acting on behalf of Mr. Black Hole Birdie. The Holemeister, the Hack Attack. I don't have a lot of time, but Mr. Birdie sent me to retrieve a message. Something he recorded for Ms. Bellamy while he was off his kilter. I'm alive. You found the recording? Oh, well, that's just... That's just sweeter than a fistful of purple berry punch. <laughs> oh, law, Bertie's gonna slaughter me like a woolly cow. Will you meet me later over at the pilot house? I swear, from the bottom of my employment contract, I will tell you everything I know about Ms. Bellamy's demise. Tell me what you know, I know how to rinse your remains off the mascot of okay. I... what? But... I don't... I can't? Please don't hurt me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't. Not here. I'm sorry. The pilot house complex. Meet me there, and I'll tell you everything, I swear. Man took off like a bat out of hell. Helen, where did we go wrong? Oh, Lord, I'm so sorry. That didn't mean for. <laughs> I understand there was an incident at the orchards. The pollination cycle began without my authorization. Fortunately, you managed to save most of the hive. The wasp ketos are essential to the orchards, you see. Losing them would have cost us months of production. Glad to be there. The orchards can be a dangerous place, but my workers understand the hazards. Something about this incident troubles me. The circumstances are... Suspicious. But let's concentrate on the matter at hand. Have you discovered anything? Reach for a cigarette. The plot thickens, Administrator. You have my attention. Dr. Blossom is dead, murdered by an unknown killer. That's deeply upsetting. Dr. Leora Blossom was an extraordinary scientist and a friend. We have a murderer on the loose, Inspector. As if the death of Halcyon Helen wasn't enough of a blow to our facility. Oh, she was in trouble when I found her. The other workers are turned violent. Well, that's not lead to conclusions. I don't know who's behind her death. Oh, I know she recognized the killer. Her commitment to her NDA was admirable. I'll make sure to accelerate the payout of her death benefits to her next of kin.
I wish you'd give me a little more information, Inspector. Leora was a friend. But I promised to leave this investigation in your hands, and so I shall. Are you the killer? If there's anything else you'd like to share... Insisted on touring the r and lab. Insisted? That's interesting. We'd scheduled a tour of the lab for Helen. Purely a public relations event to be held sometime in the indeterminate future. And then again, Helen and I were not well acquainted. I can't speak to her intentions. What were you want to show her during the tour? A uh, little of consequence. We'd tour the grounds, pause at some locations appropriate for a portrait, let her shake hands with our scientists, public relations. Mm. A picnic? I don't recall approving a private social gathering at the orchards. I'll have to make a note of this information. Thank you for bringing me... Someone stole data for the research. Yeah, that's... Troubling, to say the least. Any transfer of proprietary data is strictly prohibited without my permission. Perception hack. You can't steal that much data without an expensive cartridge or a thief. Sources. What was in the data that had to be important? A clever deduction, Inspector. That gives us a little information to work with. This happened just before I was killed. Out. Someone was trying to stop me. Yes, I share your suspicions. Someone didn't want you following their trail. This feels like more than corporate espionage. Someone's playing with us, Inspector. And I have never in my life enjoyed game. Did you discover anything else? This incident at the orchards must be connected to Helen's murder somehow. I don't know how, but I feel it in my marrow. My apologies, Inspector. This case is under your jurisdiction, not mine. I leave it in your hands. When you're ready, I suggest a word with the hotel coroner. She should have finished her autopsy by now. Mm. Hey, why was there a suspicious looking mask in my room? Why was there a suspicious looking mascot in your room? I'm afraid I don't understand. Is this the lead up to a joke? Please don't call me Lou. I don't know why there was a mascot in your room. The Grand Colonial doesn't offer that kind of room service. I think. The cabin? It was a misunderstanding. I just wanted to know if you had anything to do with it. It's pretty interesting to say about Michael Brady. He got a serious security problem in this hotel. Cedric has a security problem in this hotel. But your point is well taken. In any case, let me apologize for this unfortunate business. I'm sure this mascot meant no harm. Hmm. All right. Let's talk real quick, see if anyone's Do you think there. it's strange that I kind of miss Ada? Oh. I do love all the wall space. So much room for trophies. All right. All right, guys. I'm going to sleep. I got work tomorrow. Good night.